Salutations friends, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be something a little bit different, but also still fragrance. Um, I'm going to talk to you guys about my top 10 favorite male fragrances. Now, most of the time, if not most of the time, 99% of the time, this channel for fragrances is going to be dedicated to female fragrances and unisex fragrances. First, because you guys really want to see that. Second, because I'm not that good at describing male fragrances. And third, because there's so many reviews out there of male fragrances and they're so good and they're done by reviewers that are really strong and super knowledgeable about those fragrances. I don't think I would have much to add to the conversation. So we're going to leave those fragrances to those people because they are the best at it. But I did want to share my top 10 favorite uh, male fragrances with you guys. So if you're interested in knowing my top picks, then keep watching. Now, all of these fragrances that I chose, women can also wear because these are my favorite male fragrances that I have worn in the past and really like. But I think these are specifically ridiculously sexy on men. Um, anyone can wear them. And so let's just jump into it. I don't have any bottles because I don't really keep male fragrance bottles on hand. I just don't wear them enough to them to warrant to taking up space. But if I there is a male fragrance I like, I will go and get a, dump, a ton of samples and wear it. But there are a few on this list that I do want to purchase. So I wrote notes. So let's go. You guys might notice some of these fragrances. This list for these fragrances is not going to be your typical top 10 male fragrance list because it's my choices. A lot of times there's specific popular fragrances on these lists and that's because those men or women love those fragrances and there's nothing wrong with that at all whatsoever. But these are the fragrances that I love. So you might be missing some of your favorites from this list. So I'm just like reminding you guys. Now these are all going to be based off of me sampling it once or twice or a few more times. So if any of you guys have experience with any of these fragrances, please let me know below your comments. If you think these are good picks, if you don't think I described them right, feel free to let more knowledge be rained down upon us in the comment section. So let's go. The first one that I really like that I think is sexy on men that I have just been seeing like it's been around for a bit like a few years I think it came out in 2010 but just recently I've seen it everywhere on YouTube and rightfully so it's a gorgeous sense. Uh, scent. <laughs> and it's Midnight in Paris from Van Cleef and R. Pals. So now this is a masculine fragrance. I'm going to be looking at my notes because there's a lot. Um, it's lemon, bergamot, rosemary, leather, green tea, lily of the valley, incense, and tonka bean. I love this fragrance. This is a very easy to wear, very sexy scent, but there's something really mysterious about it. I, In me, when I wear this and when I've experienced it on other people. Generally what I usually get is tonka, incense, green tea, leather, and lemon. Um, but I've known, I've watched other reviews where other people get more notes, but this is just one of those scents on guys that I just think is really delicious and sexy, and I just really, really love it, and I wish more people would wear it, which is why I'm really excited to see it get more love recently, or maybe I've just started seeing it and it's had a lot of love for a very long time. But it's really, really good. I really, really like it. So yeah, I think it's a deliciously sexy scent on men. It's, mas it's masculine, it's strong, but it's still, there's just something really like bright about it. I don't know. It's delicious. And I think that it smells really amazing on men. Next up is the first male fragrance I ever purchased. And this is one of my all time favorite scents in general. And this is, I'm going to butcher it. It's, I, I don't know if it's Le Mal or Le Mal. I don't, I don't know. Let me know in the comments below. But it's from Jean Paul Gaultier. Now this is the first fragrance that Mason uh, Francis Kirk John created that I had experience with other than Elizabeth Arden Green Tea. And I really just started to fall in love with his nose at this point. This is, and I'm going to read the notes, and I bought this from my boyfriend in high school and I keep trying to get my husband to wear it. Every time we go into a fragrance area and I have him sniff it, he's like, no. So <laughs> let me tell you why I like this, but let's read the notes. It's mint, cardamom, bergamot, lavender, cumin, cinnamon, vanilla, cedar, and amber. This is such a warm spice scent. There's just something really like 
rich and it has a lot of depth to it, but it's so sexy. It is so sexy on men. I just can't get enough of this. I wear it myself sometimes, but I've kind of moved past that type of scent on masculine scents on me. I liked more like lumberjacky, kind of like really woody, heavy on the leather, heavy on the tobacco, heavy on the pepper fragrances. But originally when I started wearing masculine fragrances, this was the one that I would go to all the time. I really, really like it. I smell this. I know this scent. It is one of the scents where if you wear it, I know it and I will go up to you and I will compliment you. And I've done that. If there's a woman with the guy, I won't or if I'm with my husband he knows that I'm not doing anything I'm complimenting the fragrance like we were at the grocery store and the guy in front of us had it I'm like are you wearing like the, the John Paul Gaultier he's like yeah the male and I'm like oh I love that scent and my husband's just like oh oh here she goes again talking about perfume like just talking about fragrance like I really like I will go out of my way to say I like your uh, scent because I want more people to wear this scent because it just smells so good on everybody so definitely that one is one of my top 10. This other one actually made it into my list actually two of them made it into my Pride and Prejudice and Fragrance list I'll link it below where I chose fragrances for um, the beloved Pride and Prejudice characters from the books and movies. Generally, when I was choosing those fragrances, I was thinking of the book, because I've read the book like 12 times, and I was also thinking of the BBC miniseries with Colin Firth, um, because as I've watched that like so many times, I'm not even gonna tell you because you wouldn't believe me. Um, but this is Darcy's fragrance, and I just think this is a sexy, beautiful fragrance. It's Colonia from Aqua de Parma. It is a unisex fragrance, and it's citrus, verbena, vetiver, uh, rosemary, um, rose, and patchouli. It's just a really beautiful, effortless, easy scent. It's one of those scents that's appropriate pretty much any time of the day, anywhere you're going. You could be going someplace formal, you could be going someplace casual, you could be going someplace professional, you could be outside, you could be inside, it could be daytime, it could be evening. I think this is just one of those really universally versatile scents that is just really sexy and appropriate and I just love that. I love smelling fragrances that fit the mood and this is one of those fragrances that just fits every mood. It's a little bit different because not a lot of people wear it, but it, to me, it's very recognizable. I feel like it's one of those scents that everyone has experienced in their life. You've probably worked with somebody or hung out with somebody or were at a grocery store or a shop and smelled it and probably thought to yourself, this one smells really nice. It's just one of those fragrances that's just universally appealing. Again, these are my opinions. Um, it's a unisex, sex, unisex scent, unisent sex doesn't sound right. Um, and that's great because it smells sexy on women too. I love this fragrance. I keep meaning to buy this fragrance. It's really, really good. So Colonia was an absolute must for this list. Next up, which is another sexy fragrance on everybody, is Eccentric Molecules Molecule 1. I just, I'm not going to go into it. It depends on who you are and how you wear it, but this is just one of the scents that just, it smells beautiful on everybody. It's really easy um, and it's just really attractive. The next one is, and I'm going to butcher the name again, uh, Naso Mato uh, Bardonda. Bardonda? Um, that is, this is, um, this is a unisex fragrance. It's like this woody, boozy, kind of syrupy, but not too sweet fragrance. It's just, to me, like, that's how I want to smell if I'm wearing male fragrances. I want to smell like this. And on guys, it's just, you smell like a sexy lumberjack. It's just so good. It's so good. So this, to me, is like, it's one of their newer ones. Um, but I think it's one of their best. So I really, really, really dig it. And I'm probably going to pick up a bottle very soon because I myself love the way that smells. And I want to smell like that. And I want my husband to smell like that. I want all the guys around us to smell like that because I think the world would be a better place if everyone just smelled like a boozy, whiskey, rummy, woody, sexy lumberjack. That's just kind of my thing. Getting into the weird territory, so we're gonna stop right there. Next up, this was Mr. Bingley's fragrance. This is Amen or Angel Man from Terry Mugler. This is a classic, a classic. And because it's a classic, because I grew up smelling this everywhere, specifically when I worked in the fragrance store, this is something that I just find comforting and just sexy. 
and there's just something like it's very familiar but it's also something that's not over overdone I don't smell it everywhere I'm not tired of it I can never get tired of this fragrance um, but this is a masculine fragrance again and it's peppermint lavender bergamot chocolate coffee patchouli vanilla I get so much coffee and patchouli in this um, is so good um, but I also like the little bit of the brightness that the peppermint and the bergamot brings to the party it's just to me it's just really mysterious and it makes you question what they're wearing because there's so many things going on but it's also really playful and ridiculously masculine so I really really love the classic angel men um, on guys I just think it's so sexy um, next up is one that I did a first impressions on my fragrance first impression and I will link that video below and it's Spice Bong from Victor and Rolf now this guys this smells so good it's so Biting and peppery as a masculine fragrance. It's grapefruit, pink pepper, tobacco, leather, and vetiver. It's a cool, very bitter pepper, like very bitter. Like you smell it and it's just biting and it's just, there's no warmth to it whatsoever. At least in the opening of this, you wear it on your skin, it gets a little bit more warm. But this is just such a unique scent that I think just kind of like snatches you like gets your attention right away like it's definitely a attention getter it's not an easy scent to wear but I think it's one of the scents that if somebody wears it or if you wear it you're going to get comments on it you're going to get compliments on it because it's not your everyday run-of-the-mill fragrance now that being said I think it's very sexy on women too I loved it if my husband hadn't absolutely hated it I would own a bottle of it right now um because I just love to smell like pepper I like to smell like pepper like pepper like you pepper and pink pepper and spice I love that smell on me um and so that is just definitely one of those fragrances that just does it for me it's like my aesthetic of this pepper fragrance but it's really sexy pepper and it's just very biting and it's very to the point and I just think it's fantastic three more to go um, next up is Care Amethyst from Armani Privé. I did a review on that. I might have done a review on some of these fragrances, so I'll link them below. Um, but this one is one from Armani Privé. It's a unisex scent. It's coriander, rose, violet, birch, patchouli, and vanilla. This is just a beautiful velvety leather fragrance. It's so to good. To me, this is an absolutely beautiful leather fragrance. It doesn't smell like cheap leather handbags or jackets where sometimes leather fragrances can go this smells like a beautifully perfumed jacket like if a guy was wearing a leather jacket and his lover came up to him and she was just wearing this beautiful rich floral fragrance and they embraced it's what his jacket would smell like it's really gorgeous and I want my husband to smell like that and he refuses so um, but it's just really sexy and there's something really magical about it and I suggest people checking it out because it's so good. I know it's a little bit harder to get your hands on Armani Privé. The only thing that I can say is, is if you ever have the opportunity to get a sample of any of them, definitely check them out. And I think if you're anywhere like a Neiman Marcus that sells the Armani, the Giorgio Armani um, cosmetics, I think they will also have the fragrances there too. So definitely check them out if you can. But I love them, and uh, Cure Amethyst is just this really sexy, sensual, syrupy leather scent that is definitely like on my top favorite scents for men or even women. It's just really next good. up is a unisex fragrance, and this to me is the safest fragrance on this list. If you were to take any fragrance from this list and buy it blind and just wear it, I feel like this would be the one to get. It's just really safe, it's really easy, but it's really, really nice, and it's tobacco vanilla from a Tom Ford. This is a unisex scent. It's tobacco, spices, cocoa, vanilla, woods, tonka bean. This is one of the fragrances that I think does cocoa right. It's not overtly cocoa, but it does have this on my skin, and when I smell it on other people, I can definitely pick it up. The slight chocolatey undertones. The biggest punch in this is definitely the tobacco, which I love. And then the vanilla just kind of rounds it out a little bit and softens it a bit of a little bit, which makes it very sensual and sexy. This is a very safe, easy fragrance to wear. So again, if you were to buy one of these fragrances blind, this would probably be the one I would recommend. All the others have things going about them that maybe you wouldn't like 
or you maybe wouldn't be into, but I think Tobacco Vini is definitely the safest one out of the bunch, but it is nonetheless very sexy, and I do like it on everybody, men or women. Last but not least is a masculine fragrance that I think is also delicious on women, um, and a lot of people seem to really like this, and I might butcher the name because that's you know what I do, and that's from Hermes, and it's Terre de Hermes, and it's a masculine fragrance. Um, it's grapefruit, orange, pink pepper, vetiver, patchouli, and bay rose. In this, the opening notes for the, because I have like six samples of this, and once I'm out of the samples, I'm going to buy a bottle, I get like the biting a grapefruit. Now, if you guys have eaten grapefruit, you know that's like bitter and citrus. Like, I love those notes in fragrances. I think they're fantastic. Sometimes with citrus fragrances, they're a little bit too sweet, a little bit too juicy, a little bit too toned down. <clears throat> there is something just biting and really energizing and just awesome about grapefruit fragrances. Um, so I love that. And mixed with the vetiver and the patchouli and the pink pepper just make this a really fantastic fragrance. I would say this is kind of a little bit more warmer version of Spice Bomb if I were to give you guys an example. My husband just tiptoed past me and looked at me. I didn't even realize he was there until he was at the door. Um, I'm not saying that Spice Bomb and this fragrance are the same, but I get the same pepper from it. The same cool, biting, very strong pepper, but this has more of a citrus note to it, which is really, really nice. Again, not the same, but they just kind of remind me of each other. It's really sexy. It's to the point. And I think this is one of the fragrances that you're going to get noticed wearing because it's something that is a little bit different than the aquatic fragrances that you'd expect. So I like that one a lot too. And I think it's really sexy on men. And I was another fragrance. I feel like my husband would smell really sexy in, and I kind of wish if I could wave a magic wand he'd like fragrances because that would make my life fulfilled and complete, but that's okay. That's my top 10 list. You might have noticed some things that were missing, some of your favorites. Fragrances that a lot of men seem to go crazy over, I really enjoy. And if they're not, any of your favorite fragrances are not on this list, it's not because I don't like them. It's because these specifically just stand out to me as fragrances that I think are really sexy, are very masculine, and I kind of like some fragrances that also work well on women. I kind of like th that playfulness on men, which is why there's a lot of unisex fragrances in this list. Again, I would love to know your thoughts, what fragrances you think should have been on this list, or what fragrances are your favorite unisex or masculine fragrances. Maybe you're a lady and you like masculine fragrances, or maybe you're a guy and you want to let us know what your favorite fragrances are. I would love to know your thoughts, so let me know in the comment section below. As always, if you like videos like this, specifically my fragrance videos, remember to give this a thumbs up. It lets me know to continue doing videos like this. And also don't forget to subscribe. It's free and I'm free. And I put out new videos every Monday through Friday and sometimes on the weekends as well. So I'll always have something for you to watch. In any case, I hope you guys are all happy and healthy and have a great day, month, year, whatever. And I'll see you next time. Bye!